When I look at an image, I'm looking for that one detail. The detail that once noticed cannot be unseen. It can be a hidden word or a fold of a cloth. I'm looking for a reaction. Images are all around us. Cameras are all around us. Life is on constant display, run at fast speeds that are constantly hiding the beautiful, the horrific, the disturbed. As Bart explains, we see images as empirical, rhetorical, or aesthetic. But the image just is. It's a look, a snapshot in time, an act, a pose, a perspective, an image, one of many. Sometimes we attempt to decipher the photographer's referent and signifier, but it is not always so clear. Photography transforms the subject into an object, performing for the gaze, directed and manipulated into a new identity through the perspective of the lens. We construct the inauthentic, an embodied death. The audience reads the image how they please. I read the image how I please. I am interested in the punctum, what punctuates the scene, the truly affective juxtaposition with the studium. When we put images into motion, the punctum, the fine detail I look for, it can be an orange tradition among the masses, the strain and release of muscle. Time, space, and motion can be experienced through images that are impossible in our everyday lives. Changing the perspective of time through slowing down, speeding up, and cutting the action before its completion help us focus on the fine details. Like Bart, I'm not always interested in the intentional. The subject-object relationship does not necessarily mean my visceral reaction, my punctum, was strategically planned attesting to the photographer's art, but just means that they captured this thing, this moment, this perspective. Some reactions are intentional, carefully crafted through planning, executing, and editing, but the artist cannot conceive all reactions outside the studium. Experiencing the unexpected, often through the manipulation of time, privileges us to strong emotional reactions on all sides of the spectrum. A single droplet of water can bring us to tears. Beautiful architecture can bring us delight. And sometimes, a thought-provoking book can transcend our thinking. <laughs>